estimations were created using uh, the real data here at the Johnson Space Center, so this should be exactly what it looks like. Dragon will arrive at a point directly below the station and begin the process of uh, going up to that 250 meter uh, hold point. The Dragon should arrive at that 250 meter point at 421. At that point, it'll begin the retreat and hold uh, maneuvers. These are all part of the demonstration maneuvers as part of the COTS program. It has to pass these in order to continue on toward the station, but the Dragon team in Hawthorne will issue a command. The uh, crew on board the station will tell it to retreat and then all of a sudden hold. Once all that's finished, Dragon will uh, move even closer up past the 220 meter point and then head on up to the 30 meter point, which you're seeing depicted here. It'll be crossing inside the keep-out sphere at this point in time, and then once it gets up to 30 meters, it will hold once more. There'll be another uh, final go, no-go, that'll be given the team here in Houston, and then it'll cross uh, from 30 meters into 10 meters. It will hold there for the final time at the 10-meter point. This is a view of what the crew is going to be seeing inside the cupola. It'll be fairly close to the station at that point in time. And then whenever it gets to that 10 meter point, that is when Don Pettit will take over and use that arm to reach out and uh, capture Dragon. As we talked about earlier at the top of our broadcast, our capture time has been updated. It's going to be taking place a little bit earlier than what was planned yesterday. Capture right now set for 6.59 a.m. Central Time, 7.59 a.m. Eastern Time. Once that capture takes place, Pettit will use the arm to steer Dragon back around, point the nose toward the bottom side of Harmony, and then he will bring it on in for the actual birthing itself. It'll take about three hours for this birthing to take place.